Now you know how to go from, um, from an activity that you've designed to a fragment. Now what, why is a fragment a good idea? I'm going to try to show it to you with one example. So I'm going to run this BMI calculator that I now have done with an activity that it's a bare bones activity and most of the work happens in, within a fragment. Okay, I'm going to show you how that runs this my BMI calculator. I can enter a weight, so 156 pounds and 68 inches, and my BMI is 23, right? Now, um, now I, if I change the orientation of this, right, so let me put this over here. If I change the orientation of this, there's a lot of white space here. I perhaps want to use this white space when the orientation is landscape. So fortunately in Android, right, what I will have to do is I can create a layout for a landscape, okay? As long as it has the same name, but it is saved in a special place for landscape, then when my application is in landscape, it's going to show that layout. So let's do that. I'm going to um, go to Res for resources. I'm going to say new Android resource directory. And the resource type is going to be a layout. I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. I have to create a special folder, a special Android folder, in which to put my XML files. Android will know immediately if it's in, in landscape mode, it will know to look for my XMLs in the layout land. Okay? So I've created that. You can't really see it, but it's there, believe me. Now, you'll be able to see it, uh, you'll be able to see it in a very interesting way. We're gonna now create activity BMI calc XML for a landscape orientation. So I'm gonna say new Android resource file. And the name is going to be activity uh, BMI calc. Okay, it's going to be a layout type of thingy, right? And the direct name is going to be layout land. Okay, with with that dash. If you if you want to if you want Android to compose it again, orientation landscape layout land. And it's going to put this activity BMI calc, which is the exact same name. It's the exact same name as my other activity, uh, XML. Remember, this is the layout for the activity. So what I'm going to do is in layout mode, what I want is the following. In layout mode, I'm going to copy the fragment from the other activity. I want it to show the fragment. Sorry about that email there. There, you see how it says land up on top. So I'm gonna I want to show the same fragment here. Okay. I want the orientation of my layout to be hor horizontal. And then next to this fragment, I want it to have, say, for example, this is this is just an example, it can be anything. I want it to have a text view with wrap content, wrap content. I want it to have a text view, Android. Padding left, 100 dp. The dp is a unit of measure in Android. You can find out more about that. And then Android ID equals, you don't really need the ID right now, but you might need it later. Um, disclaimer, we're going to call this a disclaimer. And then Android text, it's going to be BMI is simple and approximation of body fat right so people don't take it seriously or something like that okay so look at what I've done I created uh, an XML file for um, an XML file that describes my activity when it's in portrait orientation and describes my activity when it's in landscape. And when it's in landscape orientation, I added this text view. So let's run it and see what happens. Let's run it and see what happens. Um, it's going to ask me for the device in which I want to run it. Yes, I want to run it in the emulator. And let's see.
and here it is. This is my uh, my BMI calculator, and if I rotate the phone, you will see that this text appeared now, right? BMI is simply an approximation of body fat. So now we have two different layouts, right? We have a portrait layout that adds stuff to my application, and we have, I mean, a, a landscape, and we have a portrait layout which actually lays out things differently, right? Now, if I were not using a fragment, by the way, if you go to layouts, you will see the activity BMI calc.xml has two components. If you open it up, there's the calc and there's the one in landscape. Okay? Now, if you think about it, in the original application, okay, when we had the activity holding all the components, so I believe I still have that, the basic one, this is my I'm just open the basic BMI calculator when everything was done in an activity, the XML file looked like this. If I want to create an XML file for a different location, I have to copy all of these components, put them in a special layout, and then put something next to them with the, the disclaimer text. And now, if I ever change any of these components, I'll have to change them in all of the layouts that I have programmed for my activity. Compare that, now I've switched to the fragments version. Compare that with this. If I need to change a component, you know, the fragment stays the same, I just change the additional component. And we can take it one step beyond that by making all these secondary components, in this case it's only one, we can make all of this another fragment. So I'm gonna go to my package there, say new fragment, blank fragment, I'm going to call it uh, Disclaimer Fragment. It created my Fragment class and my XML. Okay, The Disclaimer Fragment, well, the, in the XML, so I'm just going to go here. I'm going to take the text view out of here. I'm going to put it in the Disclaimer. All right, just put it in the Disclaimer there. And then in the landscape, orientation, what I'm going to do is the following. In my landscape orientation, I'm just going to put this disclaimer fragment, and then this class is disclaimer fragment. Okay, so basically in my activity in landscape, I just put the two fragments side by side. In my activity in portrait mode, I just have one of those fragments. Okay, and then I control all the visual components of these things in the fragments themselves. I don't have to repeat myself. If I change something in this fragment, it's going to change both on portrait and landscape orientation. Uh, one last thing here, well, I'm going to strip this to the bare minimum because there's a lot of fluff for the example that I'm trying to um, that I'm trying to get here. I just want you to show. I just want to show you what the bare minimum here is for a fragment to be created. We're going to use some of this stuff later on, but not in this one. Okay, this is this is just the code for my fragment there. All right, so let me run this application, and hopefully I can show you how fragments will make our life easier in the end. Um, I'm going to run it in this emulator, like I've been running it all the time, and let's see what happens. Here's my BMI calculator, and if I rotate the screen, it is right there with the with the other fragment. So now I am having two fragments side by side. Again, the beauty of this is if I want to change how this looks, or if I want to put add more stuff to the disclaimer and 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 even have some interact interaction here, I can add all those components in my fragment XML. My activities don't need to change. I change components and 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 layouts. In, uh, and views and 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 you know the way things behave in only one place. I don't have to maintain two copies of the same every single time just because I want to switch um, just because I want to switch orientations.